back to the physics lesson. Today we are going to proceed our discussion on semiconductors. There are two types of semiconductor which are intrinsic semiconductors and extrinsic semiconductors. Starting with intrinsic semiconductors. Intrinsic semiconductors are the type of semiconductors which are pure. These are the pure crystal semiconductors. Example, when we are talking about silicon or germanium, these are the pure semiconductors. In this material, there are no added atoms which can alter the electrical conductivity. So, intrinsic semiconductors, as you can see here, these are the pure semiconductors or pure crystal semiconductors. The number of electrons in a conduction band in intrinsic semiconductors is equal to the number of holes in valence band in this intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductor, during conduction, an electrons jump from a valence band to the conduction band. Now, on leaving from a valence band to a conduction band, these electrons leave a vacant space, and this vacant space is what which is known as a hole. Is what which is known as a hole. It's not a hole. It is a positive charge and the efficiency of electrons. Remember, electrons are negatively charged. Therefore, the number of electrons, the number of electrons in a conduction band, and number of holes in a valence band in intrinsic semiconductors are the same. Why? Because the same number of electrons leaving a conduction band create the same number of holes in a valence band. The second type of semiconductor is known as extrinsic semiconductors. Now, this is a crystal semiconductor in which its structure is drastically altered by additional of foreign. Extrinsic semiconductor, these are the type of semiconductor at which its conductivity is drastically altered by additional of foreign atoms. These foreign atoms are those which you call impurities. Therefore, we say extrinsic semiconductor is a type of semiconductor which consists of impurities in them. The addition of foreign atoms create the change in electrical conductivity because they alter or they change the presence of charge carriers, the number of charge carriers. and 
and time semiconductors. An intrinsic semiconductors as elemental intrinsic semiconductors such as silicon, germanium, and diamond. These are tetravalent elements. These are tetravalent elements, meaning that they are found in group 4 in the periodic table, which means that they have four electrons which are variable in shelling and formation of what? Formation of uh, either covalent bond. This means that they have four electrons which are variable in formation of covalent bond. Now, when we add an impurity or a foreign atom, these foreign atoms replace an atom in these cluster or in these materials. These atoms, they can be either a donor or can be an acceptor, depending on the material which is added. Now, if we add a pentavalent element, a pentavalent element, meaning that elements which are found in a group 5 in the periodic table, example, arsenic or phosphorus, if we add arsenic or phosphorus in a cluster of silicon or germanium, the current element will replace a silicon or germanium in a cluster structure and giving out four outermost elements, four outermost valence electrons in forming a covalent bond. Now, on forming this covalent bond, there will be about four. But remember, these pentavalent elements they have five outermost electrons which are valuable for bond formation. Therefore, only four will be involved in formation of this crystal structure. Now, this bond will form, leaving out one electron which is unpaired. Now, these unpaired electrons, these unpaired electrons is one which will be free to move when the electric field is applied in this material. Now, because it is unpaired and because it is free, it means that the electric conductivity of this material will be altered by the added pentavalent element. These unpaired electrons can be uh, used in conduction because they can easily be carried and transferred to the conduction band and used in, uh, in carrying or in conduction of electricity. Example uh, or illustration here shows how this bond formation up. We have a silicon, 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 and silicon. These are the pure uh, atoms from uh, a semiconductor. Now we have an impurity here at the center, arsenic. When they are added, because it is a pentavalent element, it means that it can give only four uh, 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 atoms, it can give out only four electrons which can be involved in the formation of covalent bond, this covalent bond, bond which is formed by sharing electrons from a silicon and arsenic. But there will be an external electrons which will be unpaired. These free electrons can be transferred, can be transferred to a covalent bond and involved in conduction of electricity. When a trivalent element is added in intrinsic semiconductors, then intrinsic semiconductor will share it four outermost electrons in bond formation well as a trivalent which are element which are found in a group three meaning that they must have three electrons which are can be used in bond formation now example of these elements include boron indium or gallium when they are added to these intrinsic semiconductors they will give out only three elements they will give out only three electrons which can be involved in bond formation now this will create a shortage of electrons in the cluster due to the bond formation. This will create a shortage of electrons. Now, this shortage of electrons will create a vacancy. This shortage in electrons will create a vacancy. Now, this vacancy is what which is known as a hole. Now, a hole is just a positive, an excess of positive charge in a material. Now, for this type of impurities, they are termed as, uh, they are termed as acceptor impurities because they accept electrons, they receive electrons from uh, semiconductors. Now, since they have excess of positive charge, this type of material is known as a p-type material. Whereas well, the latter type of material, the other type of material, because they have an excess of free electrons in that material, they are known as any type material. Therefore, simply we can make it like this. An n-type extrinsic semiconductor, they are formed when a pentavalent electrons add an excess of free electrons which can be used as charge carriers whereas vacancy 
or deficiency of electrons during a bond formation. So you can see here in illustration, this bond is an impurity. Uh, these impurities, when added, it share one electron, a crystal structure. Now it share each electrons in, uh, in, in, in each atom of, of uh, germium. If you look for this illustration here, bond is an impurities which share one electron for each crystal structure. Now, since it has only three electrons, it shared one electron, two, and three. But the, it leave one vacancy, or we come uh, vacancy space, since it has not used in what in, in bond formation. So this is how we form p-type and n-type.